welcome to curves that cross themselves. So the idea here, again, if we are thinking of a parametric curve as the path that a person travels over time. So if we think of a parametric curve, as a path that a person travels over time. Then it is completely possible for the person to sort of land on the same point at multiple different points in time. So it is possible for a person to land on the same point at multiple times. And graphically, this will appear as the graph crosses itself or repeats itself. So the graph either crosses or repeats itself. So let's go ahead and look at the curve defined by x of t equals t squared minus 4 and y of t is equal to sine of t. Our job is to find the times where uh, the curve crosses itself. So um, we're first going to plot this. We can do so in Desmos. So if we go back to Desmos, our f of t was t squared minus 4. And our g of t was simply sine of t. And then here, we don't want to limit ourselves from 0 to 2 pi. We can actually go negative as we choose. So let's go from negative uh, 15 to h. Or actually, since we have sines, let's do multiples of pi. So let's go from negative 8 pi to h, and we'll let h run from negative 8 pi to 8 pi. And then if I let that play, As time passes, we can see our graph sort of coming through. So the graph definitely crosses itself. I'm going to change my window so that the y values are not as extreme. So let's go from negative uh, 2 to 2 for my y values. You can see the graph crossing itself sort of repeatedly. So the question is, where does it cross itself? Where does this happen? So we have our graph here. We've plotted our points. We can see where it crosses. And right? so we cross somewhere a little after uh, five. We cross somewhere a little after 35, we cross somewhere around 85, et cetera, right? But at what times do they cross? So note the curve crosses itself. If there are two times,
um, let's call them lowercase t and capital T, for which um, the point x of t, comma y of t, lowercase t's, is equal to the point um, x of capital T, comma y of capital T. So we have a pair of equations here. So we have the system of equations, system of equations. Uh, x of lowercase t equals x of capital T, and y of lowercase t equals y of capital T. Our x of t was just t squared minus 4, so we have lowercase t squared minus 4 is equal to capital T squared minus 4. y of t was just sine of t, so we have sine of lowercase t equals sine of capital T. So x of t, or sorry, t squared minus 4 equaling capital T squared minus 4 tells us that lowercase t squared is equal to capital T squared. So that means lowercase t is plus or minus capital T. We want different times, and so our lowercase t must be negative capital T. So this means if we take our second equation, We have sine of lowercase t equals sine of capital T. This means that we are looking for where does uh, sine of capital, neg sine of negative capital T equals sine of positive t, capital T. Or in other words, where does negative sine of capital T equal sine of capital T. Right? Remember sine is an odd function that negative just pulls out front. And so we're looking for where does uh, two times sine of T equal um, zero. So uh, this can happen when capital T equals um, any multiple of any integer multiple of pi. So we can pick our points. Um, this means that our times are um, t equals a negative pi over k and a capital T equals pi over k for k and integer. Um, note, uh, we can just take positive integers here. So since uh, we want the two values and we have the positive and negative version, we can take k an integer which is greater than zero. 
So if k equals zero, the two times match. We want two different times. Um, so we don't want to use k equals zero. Uh, if we use k equals a negative integer, it's just a swapped pair. Um, so since we have the negative and positive version, um, we have our paired times of where we uh, match. Right. So at uh, t equals, um, or at capital T, we're at t equals pi k, k a positive integer. The graph crosses. Uh, where it was at t equals negative pi times k. So this is finding sort of where a curve intersects itself. The algebra can get nasty. Um, in this case, it wasn't so bad since we had that t was just the opposite sign of its counterpart. Um, but this is um, figuring out when the curve crosses itself. I should probably say, um, instead of where does the curve cross itself, it will be when does, since we're talking about time. All right. In the next video, we will look at kind of how we can go back and forth between parametric equations. Uh, and our typical rectangular coordinates, x and y, or rectangular equations.